Oh, <coughs> sorry guys. <coughs> I got a bit of the flu today, so yeah. Um, apologies if I am a little bit sick today and if I'm not sort of my happy self, because I have got the flu. And yeah, hopefully this is just a sort of a one or sort of a couple of day flu, so I can actually be sort of um, healthy. And yeah. Anyway, enough about my sickness. Let's get on with the video. What's up guys, it's Nacho here and welcome to another Euro 2016 roundup. I um, what am I on? This is this the seventeenth or sixteenth one so I've done so far and I've, I've lost count. Um today we're talking about Germany ver sorry not Germany, what am I? That's yesterday. Today we're talking about France against Iceland and in the last quarter finals of the Euros uh, 2016 and yeah, let's um, talk what happened. What happened was France put on a performance tonight. They showed why they are the favourites to win the term and showed why probably at right now they're the best team in the Euros. And yeah, let's talk about the team. Well, France made two changes to the team. They brought well, two big changes you could say. Um, Rami was suspended and so was Kante, so they brought in Sissoko, who plays Newcastle. Yeah, I mean, literally, I, I mean, enough about Sissoko because I don't want to get involved. He's rubbish, end of story. And they brought in Antiti, I think it's Barcelona's new signing from Lyon, his first cap. So that's a big, big, big call. Okay, Mangala should could say, oh, wait a big Mangala. And did you see the way he played Man City at the end of the season? No chance. And that's probably why I've changed. I've watched some of his games for Lyon. That's a decent signing from, from Barcelona. That's a decent player. Anyway, they came in and Iceland were on chains for the fifth fifth game they played so far. In this, fifth or sixth game so far in this tournament. And yeah, in the first couple of minutes, France were outstanding. I mean, Iceland, you know, had a couple of chances for throws, which we all know they're good at throwing. You know, against England. Hey, 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 hey. Um, but yeah, they had a couple of chances from throws, um, which is their strong point, uh, you could say. Then, you know, France got in the game, Papa, Griezmann, um, you know, were phenomenal in the game. I also thought that, yes, that's right, Sissoko had actually had a good game. How much does that pain for me to say that, as a Newcastle supporter? But anyway, he had a decent, he had a, he had a good game tonight. Um, Payet, you know, yet again had an unbelievable, unbelievable game. And yeah, the first goal came from France. Unbelievable, pa unbelievable through ball from between. I mean, I thought it was probably, if he was not, then he was one of the best players on the pitch tonight. And Giroud, we all criticise this man. He doesn't, when he gets a chance, he just stalls. He just puts through the bar or out of the road's end for all we care. But he actually composed himself. And we all know, if you put the ball under the goalkeeper's legs, it's a goal. He does that. 1-0 France, and you think. Yeah, this is going to be a cool... Well, hold on a minute. We did say in England, we, just put, we, won, we were one up against Iceland in the first, I mean, four minutes. From Ren Rennie's penalty, you think, oh, 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 that's not the guy on Iceland so far. They came back and got back. Didn't happen. And a couple of minutes later, great crossing from... Hyatt and uh, from the corner and a fantastic hair from Papa. He makes it 2 0. The dab from Papa again. I missed that. <laughs> and yeah, uh, and then the, the rest of the goals just flew in. The third goal was an absolute peach of a finish from Hyatt. And Griezmann's beautiful dinky dinky Chipperino made it 4 0. And that's how it finished in the first half. I always had the game over. There's no point watching this match. This match is dead. It's 4 0. It's a waste of time. And it's true because it got even worse for um, Iceland in the second half. Um, what else? Uh, you could say, well, didn't really happen, did it? No. No. Not so much. And in the, se the second half, you know, it was just a lot like the first half. France had more of the ball, had more of the chances. The f then, and somehow, Iceland get a goal back. 
Um, great crossing, great um, finish from one of the sons. Literally, so many sons in the team is incredible. Not actual son, just S O N in their name, in their initial name. Right? Not my son. Okay. Let me just read it there. Um, yeah, he gets to go five one. You think? Nah, it's just a consolation. Then a free kick for France. What a what unbelievable cross from Payet. Drew gets his head on it, even though I think the goalkeeper should catch it. If, it, if, if the ball crosses into your box, and, the, and this is the goalkeeper, into your penalty box, you get the catch. Just, it's your box. It, it's, I think one goal, great goalkeeper said this. You, it's your penalty box. You own that box. It's your box. And yet, you know, the goalkeeper doesn't catch it because they will the rain, you know, greasy surface. Drew gets his head on it, 5-1. And then, you know, they had more chances to make it 6-7 or even 8 if they won with France. And then, give credit to Iceland. You know, get an hour go back, they made it 5-2. And that's how it finished. France are through to the semi-finals and play Germany, which I think is going to be an absolute fantastic game. I think... Ooh, who's going to win that game? Germany or, or, or France? That's a game I don't know. That's, that's like a, a, a final for me. That could be a final. But we're playing in the semi-final soon. But um, congratulations to... So congratulations on France reaching the semi-finals. Who have been, you know, absolutely outstanding today. Congratulations yet again to Iceland. I, it doesn't matter if they got fresh 7, 8, 9, whatever today. They've been incredible in this tournament. They mean to even get into this tournament for Iceland is an achievement. To even get out of the group stages and finish above Portugal is an achievement. And also Austria, who are a decent side. And to also beat England, and yet again, my English viewers are going to hate me for keep saying it, but I have to keep saying it because I still can't freaking believe it. Yes, Iceland, at least, I mean, beat England, and England are still licking their rooms after that humiliating. Probably the worst defeat in their footballing careers, slash probably in history for the English national team. And yeah, you have to just give credit to Iceland. They've been outstanding and I think they've been a breath of fresh air in this tournament. And have pretty much given a lot of nations a kick up the backside saying, you should just go for it, just have a go, just have a go. But anyway, um, so the semi-finals look like this. The first semi-final is between Wales against Portugal. That's going to be a good game. I mean, you think, Bale, Ronaldo. Bale, Ronaldo. Bale, Ronaldo. <laughs> and, yeah, I don't know why I got that so, so sexy looking thing. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, who do you think is going to win? I don't have a clue. I really want Wales. Wales have just been incredible. They, have just, they, they could do a Greece. And I know they're saying, oh man, yeah, you can do Greece with the air. They could do a Greece. I literally think Wales could do a Greece. They can actually, you know, go and win this tournament. We've seen Greece in 04 beat Portugal. I don't know what it is with Portugal getting beat by so many teams in finals and semi finals. just can't win. They can't sort of grasp the chance when they have it. And I really do think Greece, I mean, not Greece, I don't remember. I really think Wales could actually get to the final. I really do, because this is not a good Portugal team. It's probably the worst Portugal team. Maybe in my lifetime I've seen. I've seen I've seen the Portugal team in night in two thousand four. I've seen the Portugal team in two thousand six and two thousand ten. I've also seen the twenty four team more cup even though they get in good stages. But yeah, I think France and I, I think Wales could win that. As for the other game between a um, ginormous game between France and Germany, I'm going France. I said France at this whole tournament will win this tournament. To win the Euros because every time they host a tournament, they win. They won the, the Euros in '86, won the World Cup in '88. I think they won the Euros in 2016. So that's where we're gonna wrap that up for another episode. And I'll see you guys in the semi finals when I don't know who plays first, so I guess Portugal, Wales, I think, play first. Anyway, I'll see you guys for that video. Hope you guys are liking these videos because I am loving making these videos. You guys are awesome. Keep it up. I love you guys. Please like, subscribe, then hit your roll. He's out. What he wants to do is put his head on it or smash it into the goal. He does what pretty much what he shouldn't have done was take a touch 
and just pretty much unbalanced himself. And then Keane got the, the um, 